people have been asking us uh, this new uh, section that we've got on the new website that started in July. Um, there's a new section gone on there called Matins Musings. And that came out of the need we felt to have new things going onto the website every day. There's not a lot of activity, external activity, news as such going on in a, a monastery because it's a place of contemplation. But there is an awful lot of activity going on in our heads every day because we're here to contemplate the Word of God, to read the Word of God, and then to put it into practice by living a beautiful, loving community life. That's the aim. And so every day we come together uh, in church here to contemplate the Word of God. The bell goes at quarter to six, and then we all come down to the church in here, and we go into choir, and this is the choir that I'm going to take you into now, which is the main body of the church. This is a monastic church. Uh, as you can see, down the other end of the church, uh, down here, is where the people come uh, on a Sunday uh, when we have Mass at um, 10 o'clock. Um, and the people congregate down here. But on a daily basis, and on the Sunday as well, the monks are all up here, as you see in these choir stalls. There are 24 places in these choir stalls. There are 10 of us. And we each have an individual choir stall where we pray. And as I said, the, the bell goes at quarter to six. And we begin praying. We begin praising God uh, with the psalms. Um, and then we sit down and we listen to the word of God. And the Word of God is placed in a position of honour because it's such a powerful and wonderful thing, the Word of God. So this lectern, this beautiful lectern here, is where we, we position and we place the Word of God. And on one side, the Holy Scriptures are put on this side. And then on the other side, we have the commentary for the day on that particular passage that we're going to hear. And if you've been reading Matthew's Musings, uh, you will know that we are at present, meditating on, a, on the book of Sirach, which is a long book, and we'll be meditating on that for the next three weeks. Today we looked at chapter three, and you, I hope you read what I wrote today about chapter three, about us being obedient to our parents, and being obedient to God, and that being um, the best way of being wise. Obedience and wisdom are so closely connected, as I said. And in here we have the commentary, this book called A Word in Season, which gives us a commentary of every passage of scripture that we read. And it's a commentary by the church's fathers. Today it was St. Bernard. On other days we've had St. Augustine. Uh, lots of the, father, the fathers of the church were the people, the very wise men, up to about the year 500 who commented on the scriptures, very highly intellectual men, very clever men, but very holy men, and they're called the fathers of the church. And they're all collected in this book called A Word in Season. You can see here that, that the word is coming down into time. In season represents the, the progress of time, but the word is constantly coming into time and penetrating it and giving us life. Um, so that's... The, that's what we do every every morning. Uh, we don't just pray at that time, though. We, the first office goes through till about half past six, and then we have a short period of uh, personal prayer. Right? And then at seven o'clock, we congregate again in here, and we sing Lord's, which is the Latin word for praise. So we praise God for about another 25 minutes, and then we break for breakfast. And, and then we have Mass at nine o'clock, um, and then we come together again at midday, and then we come together again in the evening for, for Vespers, um, and then we come together again at night for Compline. Uh, so seven times a day, we come together to praise God, and that's our work every day. So Matin's Musings is really telling you about what's going on every day here, which is prayer and meditation on the Word of God. Um, so I hope that's given you some insight into um, 
that daily um, meditation that we're providing. And if you want to tell your friends about it, uh, you will get good teaching there and guidance dur during these very difficult times um, of COVID and knowing how to live in this time in a, in a fruitful way. God bless you all.